I've talked on this podcast about how I have uh, PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus is basically like a yearly subscription to PlayStation and in exchange you kind of get a bunch of free games during the year, which I've really enjoyed. It's just, you know, I'll just download a bunch of games when they come out on PlayStation Plus and just play a bunch of them, right? And the other thing with me when I play PlayStation, and I actually think, you know, the more I think about it, I think it's actually linked to mild elements of obsessive compulsive behavior that I've had all my life is that I always really like to 100% games, which is basically where you like, you do everything in the game. And on PlayStation, you get like, a, you get trophies for doing certain things in games and, and you get a platinum trophy when you do everything in the game. So I've gotten a bunch of platinum trophies over the years, which is really fun. Sometimes it proves problematic though, including this particular instance where Sometimes if I finish a game that was like really intense and I just want to play something light, I'll just go onto PlayStation Plus and I'll try and find like some random game that I can just waste a few hours on. And I ended up finding this this game called Ben 10 Power Trip. Oh boy. Oh boy, this this game has become the bane of my existence. Let me explain why. First of all, Ben 10, uh, I, I assume... People listening to this podcast are familiar with Ben 10. I missed Ben 10 as a kid. Like I knew it existed. I think it was a Cartoon Network show. I I knew it was existed, but I think I was a bit too old for it when it became big. And also, we never had Foxtel here, so we never we ne- I never I've never seen an episode of Ben 10. I know what it's about. It's about a boy called Ben Tennyson, which is just a great name. Who I think he gets like you know some some gauntlet thing that allows him to transform into different aliens with different abilities. It's right up my alley. Like if, if, if Ben 10 hit me at the right age at the right time would have been obsessed. I'd be sitting here today telling you everything about Ben 10, but I was just a little bit off. Right. I think it's a cool kids show concept by the way, and it's been rebooted a few times. And so this video game, Ben 10 power trip is obviously based on Ben 10. I'm like, I'm just going to download it because it looks like just an easy, thoughtless game. And I should have been smarter because this, this exact scenario happened to me last year where I was in the same situation. It possibly was even the same time of year where I, from PlayStation Plus, I downloaded this Ice Age game called Ice Age like Scrat's Big Adventure. And it was one of the worst games I've ever played, but I 100 percent it. And that is exactly the road I'm going down with Ben 10 Power Trip, which I've got to say is undoubtedly the worst video game I have ever played in my life. And that's why I say I'm in this peculiar situation where I am literally playing a game that I hate because I've because I want to do everything in it because I have like this mild obsessive compulsive behavior behavioral patterns, right? This game is absurdly shit. It is actually beyond me that this game exists in 2024. I thought it was like impossible for games to be this bad, right? And I know what you are all thinking right now. You're all thinking, Mike, this is a dumb children's game. Can you blame it? And, and you're right. This is a dumb, stupid shovelware kids game that they sell to kids who watch the Ben 10 TV show. This game is not for me or anyone like me, but I'm playing it, right? And I'm experiencing this abomination of a game. So like, it's basically like, it's an it's an open world kind of 3D platformer. You do very basic missions. There's l- combat that's very basic, right? And you can transform into the different aliens. One's super fast, one has fire, one's super strong. One, this, you guys, this must be crazy for you to be hearing that I'm persisting with this. Here are a few things about this game that I just think are remarkably bad, okay? So if you die in combat, like when you're fighting, you go into like an, I guess, an animation of you dying, but for whatever reason, the jump button still works after you've died for a few seconds. So you basically are just like lying on the ground as a corpse 
and then you can just jump and jump off the ground, which is just, you'd think they would have programmed that out, but they didn't. Um, the game just simply cannot handle itself. Like, I'm not even joking. It will just sometimes stop for like eight seconds. It'll just stop. It'll just be like, nah, you just, we just can't, whatever is happening right now, we can't load it. So we're just stopping the game for like eight seconds until we can, until the PlayStation can load this game. It is absurd. It is crazy. You just, you're literally like running as the super fast guy and the game just stops. And I'm sitting there playing this game where every few seconds it just freezes for four seconds. I'm like, why am I playing this? Oh, cause I've got to collect all the magic trinklets. Oh, I've got to collect all the records. And I'm like, why, why though? Right? And I'm persisting with it. There's points in the game where like, you have to rescue the citizens from monsters. And it's just like, it's a random encounter where there's a random citizen just standing there and it cuts to them and it's like, ah, help me. Ah, monsters, help me. And then you fight the monsters and the citizen is just standing there casually, looking completely unaffected by these massive monsters that are allegedly scaring them and trying to kill them. They're just standing there watching you fight. There's no animation or fear animation or anything like that. And then you beat them, you beat the monsters and they go, wow, thank you. And then that's it. it, it it's just, it's unbelievable how little thought went into this game. And then the other thing is, and this is a nightmare for someone like me who tries to 100% games for some reason. The map just doesn't work. Like most games, you have a mini map in the corner, right? I assume most people who listen to this sometimes play games. You got a little mini map in the corner, right? And it shows you kind of the land that you're on and any kind of key features on the map that you might want to go to. The mini map in this just shows nothing. It just shows you in the center and then literally nothing, no information. It might as well not be there. So you have to constantly pause the game to get to the proper map and then look, and then you can't even tell what where you're going because the map doesn't show anything. It's literally just a, tri a green triangle in the middle that's you and then nothing else. No, no, no resemblance to an actual map. So you have to keep pausing the game. When you pause the game, apparently that's too much for the fucking game to handle. So the game, so the game basically pauses loading the pause screen for four seconds. So every time you want to check the map because you're lost, because the map on the screen fucking shows nothing, you have to wait four seconds for the game to actually load that you want to open the pause screen so you can look at the actual map. It is, it is so bad, right? And when you when you beat certain missions, you get like a stat upgrade and you can choose where you upgrade the stats. You can either do like defense, so you take less damage from enemies, attack, so you deal more damage to enemies, or luck, so enemies um, drop more money, I think. And I just maxed out attack. I beat the last boss by touching him like three times. Three times. It was, it's just like th the worst game I have ever played. Again, I know, I know that it is a children's game that is not meant for me, it's meant for kids, but I, I still think it's pathetic. And the other thing is like, there's certain points where like it wants you, like platforming challenges, right? Where it wants you to transform into one of the aliens who has a certain ability that can let you cross the thing. But what I realize is the super fast alien he can make pretty much any jump because you get a speed boost and it just, you can make any jump, right? So you never need a chance. It was just, it was, uh, and I'm still going with it. I'm still persisting with this game. Oh God, hopefully by next week, I will have finished Ben 10.